Moving Out, a crazy moving game that's four players, local co-op. Let's have a look right after the intro. Moving Out, game created by DevM Games and SMG Studio. Published by Team17, available on Xbox One, PS4, Switch and PC on Steam. It is a local 4 player action game, released on April 28th, 2020. It's rated E for everyone. Let's quickly go through the menus and see what kind of smooth moves. I can't believe it's not broken. Options are available for this game. You can continue your game, new game, settings, change your profile, credits. Let's check out settings, see what uh, is available. You can change your language, which is awesome. There is a dual mover mode that is available as well. We're just gonna stick to the standard accessibility. And then audio, just the standard stuff. Awesome. Let's start up this game and get things going. Now, when you log in and you pick your character, one cool thing is you can actually change what they look like. So there's many customizable options that are available from accessories to your head to many other things such as whether your character wants to have a big wheelchair or if they want to be walking around on their two feet. So there's a lot of those options. It makes it really allows you to make your character a lot more unique and interesting on screen. As you can see, we're changing the body, the accessory type. All right, this is, stick with that. You can change color. There's two color options. You can even change your dance moves as well. So there are a few taunts that are available within the game that could be accessed using the standard directional pad. So as you see, there's lots of customization from head to a whole bunch of accessories that are available. It is a physics-based moving simulator. You're a certified furniture arrangement and relocation technician. You work for smooth moves and you'll quickly realize nothing in this game is smooth at all. All right, let's get this started. This game does not test your skills. It tests your friendship and breaks families. It was well received in being called the overcooked of moving. All right, loading is done. Now we're going to hop into the game. We're going to skip the little intro. We'll save that for you guys. You're probably asking yourself, gee, I don't know anything about moving furniture. Well, you're in luck. Training module will provide all the necessary information you need to be a and productive member of the family. To enjoy when uh, you actually play the game as well, you start off in the training mode. It's an essential moving technique. So before you can actually become one of these uh, certified Faster. movers, F A R T, you must go through this little training mode that shows you how to use the controls Did and you know? everything else. So it gives you the option of picking up the chairs, but you don't need to do that. You just need to show up at that door. It's going to unlock it. And then you're placing these boxes onto those pads. Those pads are basically what your truck will look like on the inside. And you are to place all the boxes, all the furniture and fit it neatly, nicely within that confined space. So let's quickly pick this up. As you notice, some items are, uh, some items need to be launched across obstacles. So they threw in some water here and the objective here is we got two of them across here comes the third nice. bingo doors unlocked let's move on to the next one cross without having it one, fall in the water two. two people meaning that it requires two of you to pick up because they are very heavy same thing we're going to try here we're going to pick up furniture and we're going to launch across the barrier it's a little bit tricky with uh, heavier things you got to aim it correctly and throw it over hopefully we're going to get this through it does allow you to taunt your opponents if they're not doing a good job you can go around and slap them ouch that definitely didn't wasn't very nice so let's keep going. Let's try this out. There we go. One's over. Let's get the other one over. Now when it says two, two is the minimum. You can definitely use three movers. Hey, cut the fighting out. We're going to get this over. Don't worry about it. The game does offer you ability to use assists. It's fun. There's a lot of teamwork. All right, let's move on. Now we're moving on to the fragile items. These ones are coming in and they're breaking on the ground. So you have to catch them in the air using the other nice. trigger button. There we go, done, safely, and move on. Here you can practice your slapping ability. We'll slap the ghost, knock the mailbox, and yep, no problem, perfect. I think we can do this, guys. Let's keep the slapping, not for each other, for the objects. Let's go. All right. What's going on here? 
Why can we not enter? There we go. Pick up these boxes, put them in the truck. In the truck, guys. We're, we're not going to the... Where, where are you going? Inside. There we go. Training complete. Let's move on to the actual game. Let's roll on out. As you can see, we're having a lot of fun. Congratulations, FARTs. Your skills meet the minimum legal requirements. Yes, we got our FART certificate. It's sheer madness as glass breaks upon bumping into it and appliances are ripped right out of the sockets. You're going to see that in a couple of moments where we're unable to take those appliances out like fridges, microwaves and things. By just grabbing them, we have to literally rip them out of the socket. So you'll see the wire being pulled right out. Now this is the part where you have the map, the layout from uh, one job to the other. It's usually a good idea to let one person control the truck. Otherwise, this is what happens. As you can see, we knocked over a whole bunch of cars. I think we're all trying to drive the truck at the same time, which is not gonna work out. Let's check out Holly's home and see what happens here. 18 items, we can do this guys. Let's roll out. If you're ready to dive into this game with your friends and family, be warned. This is your last warning. It will break friendships and family ties. If you've ever played Overcooked or Overcooked 2, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you've never played it, you should definitely check those out. There's a lot of communication that's required. There's going to be a lot of yelling, possibly even screaming, possibly even other things exchanged amongst each other when you're playing these type of games. So certain parts you can work independently. As you can see, certain things are really light. You can put them directly in the truck. Now just putting in the truck. Oh, there goes that glass. Jumping through the window is not a good idea. Moving Out was a game that was created by SMG Studio along with Dev Games. There was a lot of other smaller groups that helped out in the creation of this game. Turned out great. It is single player, there is no online multiplayer, but there are ways to get around that. SMG Studio is also developers behind Death Square that was released on Xbox One, PS4, Switch and on Steam for the PC. As you can see, it's sheer chaos out there, trying to get all these things on the truck. Now, Dev Games is a small independent game development studio in Stockholm, Sweden. A lot of other mobile games under their belt. SMG Studio is a little bit bigger with offices in Sydney, Melbourne, and Los Angeles. Some heavy items will wreck the lawn. As you can see, we destroyed part of the fence and created streaks on the actual lawn. Moving out is four players locally, where even though we're only playing two, sports four players. And as we mentioned earlier, no online mode. There is a way to play online with friends. It's called Steam Remote Play on the PC. It allows you to share your screen and play online. So this way your buddies can play along with you even though online modes are not officially part of the game. It's published by Team 17, the same people that made Worms and obviously Overcooked, the first one and the second one as well. There's a lot of comparisons being made between the Overcooked games and this one. Mainly because it involves a lot of teamwork, but they're completely different games. Now, if you do have Overcooked or Overcooked 2 in your PC Steam library, there is a 20% discount for a limited amount of time. So if you get this game, you will be given that discount on the purchase of this title. As you can see, we're still struggling with these heavy items. On Xbox, if you are a Game Pass subscriber, you get this game as part of your membership, so no additional cost for you. Here we go with the, uh, oh, there goes that. You gotta work together, you gotta fit it in. Perfect. We got everything in, we're out of here. Now the original soundtrack is available on Spotify and Steam. We definitely enjoy the soundtrack. Now what you're hearing in the background is not the actual game soundtrack but you can definitely check it out on Spotify if you have a membership or if you want to purchase it on Steam, it's available as well. Mission accomplished. As you can see, we had way too much fun playing this game. 
We enjoy the chaos it creates and how it forces you to work together as a team. Moving can be stressful. Playing this game is stressful as the time ticks down. So you gotta work together, you gotta communicate and get things done properly. So what do we think of this game? Is it awesome, great, good, or very limited on features and fun? We thought it was awesome. Awesome game, lots of replayability. You're gonna definitely enjoy it as well. All right, let's go, let's go, Four let's players go. of madness, locally. Right, Hope you guys enjoy this review and gameplay. Take care, see you guys next time.